Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! Since last time, I've made some special preparations here. I've got uh, Holy Lances on everyone except uh, Fran there, because it really wouldn't help her that much. And I've also got Black Belt equipped on everyone, and Float uh, ready to go on everyone here. So let's see what's behind door number two, or... Well, technically door number three, but we're going to be going back to the other one eventually. But I have some things I want to do first. That's a big sword you got there. For boss time! This is Humbaba, or the Humbaba Mistin. Trying to think of a Final Fantasy VI reference. But anyway... We want to get a uh, dispel on him and preferably silence if I can. Yes! Okay, there we go. And get slow on him if we can. That would be nice. Alright, there we go. Now that should make life relatively easy. You want to have float because he has some earth-based attack or something like that. Yeah, Fran can't cure herself while she's berserk, so oh well. Fran's dealing even more damage than I am with the Holy Lance. That is sad. You'd figure the Holy Lance would be able to deal some good damage to him because he's, well, he's weak to Holy. But otherwise, he is a relatively easy boss. Let's see. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think if a Cura would be good. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'll take care of the healing there. Yeah, you just keep on attacking there, Ash. Don't bother healing. There we go. Trying to conserve Ash's MP a bit, just in case. Uh-oh, I need uh, floats. Well, too late, I think. I'll see what I can do. Fine, are you? Yeah. Okay, um... Yeah, just keep going with Cura for now. I was going to say, use, like... Asuna, but, uh, see, I think I can do that myself. Oh, I have Asuna go. I forgot about that. Wow, I'll have to keep that in mind for the future. I have so many spells, I just forget about which ones I get when. There good Kur Kuraga there. What happened to your DPS there, Fran? Now oh, we've almost got him anyway. This time we're prepared for Trembler. By killing him first. I thought float would be good enough, but, well, there we go. W what's happening, Don? Oh, where'd he go? Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to think of a line from the movie Hook. Nah. Can't think of all the references all the time. Oh well. Yay! Victory music! Well, that's two two of three. Now, there is something that I want to get before challenging the third and final one of these guys. So, we're going to pass on him for now. wonder what we're doing by killing all these guys anyway. I mean, I guess we're saving the world, but... Oh! So that's how you get the map for this area. I was going to say, when I was done with everything in Necro Hall, that I don't know where the map is, because I couldn't find it in any of my sources. I couldn't... I looked at my maps, and I didn't see, like, a little urn icon. Yeah, supposedly he has some disable ability, but, uh... I never saw that in this battle. Oh, well. But that's why I had the black belts equipped. What was I saying? Oh yeah, yeah, like I didn't see an urn on the map where the map would be in the game. So I was like, well, where is it? And like the walkthroughs weren't saying anything and it was like, well, how am I supposed to get this thing? It was like, oh, you get it from the boss. See, I forgot about that. I can't remember everything about this game. This game's so big. I'm surprised I'm getting as close to finishing it as I am now in a relatively 
short amount of number of episodes. I was expecting this to go like 180 episodes, but uh, no, we're doing pretty good. Yeah, we only need one dispel this time around. Keep float on everyone for the traps. Uh, yeah, keep Fran at full so she can deal more damage with focus. Of course, if they use multi-targeting spells, it doesn't help. Too bad I can't keep Fran targeting the same enemy while she's berserked, but oh well. And Ash has even more MP than Bosch now. I was worried about Bosch using all her Fran using Ash using all her MP. Thanks, Ash. Thanks for uh or wait a minute, she already has float. Well, whatever. I just wanted to make sure. But anyway, let's go back to the other, or well, yeah, back to the other side, or the other entrance of the Necro Hall. There, so there's something over there that I couldn't get to before because well, I was I wasn't leveled enough. One thing you could do going through here, a lot of people wanted me to mention, was that after going through the, uh, what is it, the Tomb of King Wraith Wall, you can actually already go to this area. Just that the enemies are going to be really high leveled. But, there is a little trick that you could do at relatively low levels uh, called the Immobilize trick. Where you immobilize one of your characters. And then you have another one of your characters go all the way through the area. And then you switch back to the first character. I figured exactly how the method works. Where you switch back and forth to despawn the enemies because you the game can only can show so many enemies at once or something like that so you do this over and over and over again so that way you can keep going through the area without actually running into enemies and get the zodiac spear really early in the game of course you would need a lot of lp to get it too which would be pretty hard Unless you used, like, the Dustia method of grinding. Uh, there's something else, too. Another Like, there's another way where you could just run through the area and, like, let one character die. and then, Or immobilize a character, let all the enemies target them. Or immobilize a character. Let all the enemies target them while essentially draw their fire while we're going through the area running from the remaining enemies or something or other like that. Let a character die, keep on running all the way through, then let another character die, and you just keep on reviving the other character back and forth like that. Or something like that, I don't know. I'm not going to demonstrate it, I'm sure there's videos on YouTube demonstrating how to do it. Me personally, I don't really care about that. I prefer to get things when, you know, the game kind of intends us to. Well, one nice thing about having all those haste gambits is, uh... Whenever I get slowed, it'll automatically take care of that. Someone was suggesting, H.C. Bailey, why don't you use, um... Like an ally any haste gambit? Yeah, I suppose I could. But first, I want to go through a not-so-secret passage! Yeah, it's not on the map, but it's here. There's a hidden room here. Fran, are you going to join us? I don't want to open this chest without her because it's a trap. Ooh, Pandora's box. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, well, that was easy. But anyway, if you go over... Well, first I want... I got to finish buffing. As I was saying, if you go over here, you can find a secret merchant. Now, this guy sells some, some of the best stuff in the game. Uh, let's see. Most importantly, the telekinesis technic, which allows you to hit flying enemies with your normal physical attacks. It's really good. And the most powerful armor in the game, the Maximilian. So I want to get the licenses for everyone to be able to equip those. I'll take care of that off screen there. But uh, first, what I want to do is I want to go back to the Salika Wood to save, because I haven't saved in like an hour. And then I'll meet you back up in the center of the area to take on the last of the three beasts that we were told about there. Okay, we're back. We're all set and ready to go. Got Maximilians on everyone. 
So, uh, let's see anything else that I did? Oh, yeah, well, obviously, I got the licenses for them. I got the tech, uh, telekinesis license for everyone. As a matter of fact, I, I pretty much filled out the entire top half of the license grid by now. I've gotten all the augments, every magic spell, every accessory license, every technic license. Not that you really need to, but I have the LP, so I figured why not? Well, you never know, there might be, someone might have a brilliant idea for me that I didn't think about before. And I might need to have those licenses ready to go. I got all the license points for it, so why not? Uh, no, 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 don't want to attack that guy yet. Let's uh, go in there together. So we can ambush them. Let's see. Do both of them have it? Or Yeah, we might as well. Might as well get rid of all their buffs. Yeah, these guys absorb holy. That's why I've got uh, Ash on the uh, katana again. Yeah, keep us all healed if you don't mind there, Ash. Thanks. Are we healing them again? Uh, for a second there, I thought we were healing them. That was my own healing. Never mind. Uh, carry on. Ah, uh, oh, holy crystal. Hmm. Oh, let's uh, heal up and buff up again. Maybe I should use Shelga here. Nah, I think we'll be fine. But anyway, I do want to change up some of my... Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking about bringing in my reserves, but let's change up some of my gambits here. Uh, we don't want Berserk, actually, for this one. That would be bad. Uh, but we do want... Where is it? We do want the Telekinesis Technic here, and there's a very good reason for that. I'll explain why in a moment. But anyway, let's get that on everyone. And let's see. There we go. Telekinesis. And Medallion of Might. So how hard could this guy possibly be? I mean, it's only the third of the beasts that could destroy the world. Game. Ah, there we go. All right, it's boss time against Chaos himself, named after the final boss of the first game, obviously. Okay, now in this battle, you cannot use the attack command. So, to replace that, I'm using the Telekinesis Gambit, which basically uh, lets you use the attack command. You oh yeah, get rid of Berserk there. Forgot about that. That on Fran there. But anyway, um, yeah, so Telekinesis basically lets you bypass the gimmick of this boss fight, which you can't use the attack command. Nuts! How did he kill me so quickly? Well, anyway, we want to take out his little, four little, whatever those things are, I don't know. Maybe I should equip something that protects against silence. Uh, let's see. Yeah, use an X-Potion. Um, yeah, Kirag, yeah, Kiraja on everyone. And, man, we gotta do that again? But anyway, yeah, all these got yeah. Ooh, Chaos has his Whirlwind ability from the first game, too. Ow! Oh, man, they're still casting Silence on us? Well, we've almost got all of them. All these little jet guys or whatever. Yeah, let's equip the... What do they do there? Uh, what protects against silence? Ah, there it is. The Rose Corsage. But yeah, all these little jet guys represent one of the four elements of the game. Or, well, the original. 
obviously. Yeah, unfortunately, unlike Final Fantasy VI, equipping an accessory that protects you against a status does not automatically cure it. Man, these guys are wailing on me. Maybe I should use Bubble. Well, I'll see what I can do for now. But, uh... Let's see. Oh, there's only the one guy. Okay, I guess we killed all the uh, little jet guys. Oh, huh, there we go. Nuts. I don't remember this guy being this hard. Hurry up. It can't even use an X potion at instant speed. That is sad. But yeah, yeah, let's get Bubble going on us. <laughs> I keep on forgetting to use that before my boss fights. Oh! I was going to say, hopefully we can do that before we die again, but apparently not. Maybe I should use Bubble Belts. That may not be a terrible idea. And let's see, you gotta use uh, Kiraga. If I can get something going in time. Nuts! So much for bubble. Yeah, let's um let's equip bubble belts now. So that way uh, nice thing about using the equipping the bubble belt is that way when we're revived we'll automatically have the bubble status ready to go. So that way I don't have to worry about that again. Ow. Uh, I don't need you to cure. We got Fran taking care of that. Come on. There we go. Okay, now the rest, hopefully, should be relatively easy. Man, I feel like I'm so unprepared for these boss fights. Even though I've played this game three times. Now, that is the thing with a game like this, is that... Even when I do a test run, there's always going to be, especially towards the end of the game, a bit of a... Not again. There's always going to be a bit of a lag time between the time when I actually test the game in the time when I actually record the episode. So, even with my notes, it can be uh, hard for me to remember everything. I'm trying to do that more with my... Uh, when I'm testing my LPs, I'm trying to put more notes in... or more details in my notes, like what to do against certain bosses, and uh, what abilities I want to learn and win. And, like, reasons for my decision-making. So that way, if I forget, several months later, I'll remember. Nuts. Uh, we got a Kiraja going, right? There we go. So apparently, Chaos is Wind Elemental, I guess. Uh, yeah, get a Kiraja going again. I could use a better healing spell than Kiraja. It didn't even restore me to fall. Well, anyway, just keep on going with telekinesis for now. I wonder if bravery helps telekinesis. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Uh, why don't you heal me up since you actually have a better magic stat. Not that it's that much better because you don't hit... Yeah, you don't have all the magic women. Well, this is going to take a little while. That didn't hurt so much. Um, yeah, why don't we try getting a Shelga going? This is getting ridiculous. Besides, we don't need uh, Berserk this time around, so... Shell should help out a bit. Well, that even completely missed this time around. Uh-oh, he's got an Enrage Timer going. He's going into Pissy Boss mode. Well, no, not really. Why are we dealing so much more damage all of a sudden? Well, I suppose I shouldn't be complaining. Oh, we've almost got him. Come on, hurry up. Uh... 
Not again. Oh, and that can inflict Confuse. Um, oh, she's automatically using the Smelling Salts. I forgot, we have the Gambits for that. Come on, come on. Hurry, hurry. Heal. Yeah, I don't want to uh, lose that Shelga that I got. Well, that sort of worked. Just heal yourself. Let everyone else use Telekinesis. Yeah! Got it! Good thing I saved. Well, I suppose it didn't really matter, but... Uh, yeah, you don't want to lose to this guy after going through that dungeon an hour long without a save point. This dungeon could have really used a save point. Oh, well. I suppose maybe that's part of the theme of the area with all the death and everything and the mist or whatever. I don't know. But, all right. So what do we get for defeating him? Do we get anything? We get a new Esper. All right. And that's pretty much it. No thank you from the guys who got the medallions or anything like that. No more lore or anything like that. Just, yay, you killed all these guys. That's pretty much it. A useless Esper. Oh, well. But what do we get for completing all the hunts that we've been doing in these last couple areas? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day! We're finally done with this area.